and welcome back to my channel, Kristen Alyssa. If this is your first time, welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to, I say welcome a lot. Welcome to Kristen's DAT Survival Guide series where I break down every subject of the DAT, what materials you should get to study for it, and how to go about studying for it. This is only one part of a six part series of every single subject on the DAT. Me breaking down not only materials that you need and how to study, but also the price, which is, I know, a huge factor in determining what materials you'll get but to study for the DAT, and ones that you'll just, you know, rather leave alone. And I also have some free materials that I'm going to include in the description box below that I'll mention later on in the video. I want to place a huge emphasis, like an absolute huge emphasis on how important it is to subscribe to this channel so that you do not miss a video because I'm going to be posting these pretty quickly in succession, faster than I've ever posted any amount of videos before. And so you want to be the first to know when these videos are posted so you can, you know, take your notes and decide what you want to do to study for the DAT. So make sure you subscribe and turn on the notifications so you will get a little ding when I post. I don't know what that was. So today we're talking about biology and biology just so happens to be my favorite. It wasn't always, it was actually one of my lowest scoring sections, but it's now my favorite. I actually taught it over the summer to college students preparing to take the DAT and a lot of them got into dental school. I mean, I won't take credit for it, but I mean, <laughs> you know. <laughs> um, but this is, I'm just saying that this is a subject that I've had a lot of time and experience with that also used to be my worst subject and now happens to be my best. And this is how I got there. So the two free work resources I'm gonna talk about are Cliff's AP Biology Notes and um, Feralis Stud Biology Notes. I'm not exactly sure what it's called, um, but those two things are free and I'm gonna link them below so you can download it onto your laptop and study with using it. Um, so Feralis is more of a study guide type of um, material. I didn't use it personally for the DAT because the biology section was very difficult for me so I needed something more in depth. So I used Cliff's AP biology notes and that was my lifesaver. That changed the game. It changed me from like a 16 score in biology to like a 22 in biology. Just a huge jump. Um, because it broke down every subject that you would need to know for the DAT into chapters and there were quizzes and activities for you to do and that is what I needed. That is what, that's what got me. That's what got me to where I am. <laughs> so shout out to you Cliff, love you. So I would recommend using Feralis if you have a pretty good understanding of biology and you just wanna review, Feralis is the way to go for you. I have friends that used it and loved it. I just personally had to use Cliffs because biology was not my friend. <laughs> so moving on to the things that cost me a little money. So first I have the DAT Destroyer book. You will have heard me and will hear me talk a lot about this book. I really think it changed the game for me and my DAT score, only because it, I felt like it was harder than what was actually on the DAT. So it over prepared me in a sense so that when the DAT came, it was a breeze. This book has not only biology, but it also has organic chemistry, general chemistry, math. I think that's it. It has all like the science courses. It was, it was a lifesaver. It has like 900 plus questions and the solutions to all of them. I believe it's worth the investment because <laughs> dental school, you know, life changing. <laughs> um, but I understand if that is unachievable for some people. Uh, you can also look to try and find it, buy it off of like Amazon, maybe it might be cheaper. Also Facebook Marketplace or eBay or something like that, get a little bit of older version. Though you wanna be careful, especially with the math section. And I'll get into more into that later. There have been more changes in the math section than other sections, so be aware of that. Last but definitely not least is DAT Bootcamp. My word, the single-handed most important resource that I use throughout studying for the DAT. It, and I say this because practice exams are crucial to preparing for the DAT. The DAT is a long exam. And you know, we're accustomed to taking one hour, two hour exams maybe. 
DHT's like four or five hours, you know? And so stamina is crucial and important and being in that testing environment. And DHT Bootcamp has the most, like, the questions that I saw in there are most like what I saw on the actual DET. And so I think it's worth every penny and you get, I believe, 90 day access to it. All right, so let's wrap it up with how to study for biology or how I studied for biology. So again, like I said, biology was one of my weak points. Did you that? I say I fly in my apartment. So I read through the Cliffs AP Bio notes and I would read like two to three chapters a day, do the questions in the workbook. And then what I would do was go to the DT Destroyer and do like 30 to 40 questions, kind of just trying to simulate what the actual DAT is like. And then take a little break, go back, check my answers, review and read all of the explanations and figure out where I went wrong. And then I would move to DAT boot camp and take a DAT practice exam. I mean, uh, sorry, biology practice exam. And again, do the same thing, take a little break and then review all of the answers. And when I took little breaks, I meant like move on to a different subject. Um, I didn't just, you know, sit there. This was the most effective method for me because biology repetition is so crucial because it's straight up memorization. And memorization is not something that I would consider a strength of mine. So constantly exposing myself to these things is what got me, you know, the score that I got. And whenever I would review those notes, I mean review those exams, I would take notes on the subjects that I was consistently struggling in or, you know, was always murky, you know? So it wasn't just taking the exam just to take it. You have to, you know, give yourself constructive criticism, like what can I do better? Timing. Timing is a huge thing with biology. See biology section as a huge opportunity for you to get yourself some extra time with the other subjects, which are general chemistry and organic chemistry, because those three are grouped together into one time section. So you don't get 30 minutes for biology and da da da, -da, -da for, you don't get a lot and a lot of time for each of those subjects. So the faster you can get through biology, the more time you have to spend on general chemistry and organic chemistry, which usually take more time. I usually did the biology section in like 15 minutes or so because it's like either you know it or you don't. There's not a lot of reasoning through it, you know? <laughs> Major key in studying period for all subjects is that you do not study one subject every day. Rotate, and what I mean by that is do biology, and then whenever you've just taken a biology test and you're sick of biology, move on to Q&R. And then after you're done with that, you're like, you know what, I'm gonna do some PAT. Even though I'm great at PAT and I don't feel like I need extra practice, do PAT. Don't neglect any section. You're not, you're never safe. Don't ever see yourself as safe. Always see yourself as needing more improvement. That about sums up biology. <laughs> so I hope you guys got some improvement. If you have any questions, leave it in the comment section below. Again, subscribe if you haven't so you can know when I'm coming out with my next video. And, um, I'll see you guys next time. Best of luck studying for the DAT. You're, you've got this, kill it, give it your all, and you'll get it. Bye. <laughs> gang, 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 gang. If you don't jump, put jeans on, baby, you don't feel my pain. <laughs> Please don't get me hype, I'm hype. <laughs> Write my name in ice. Okay.